More news, the University of Nebraska Lincoln Fraternity will pay a four year price for hazing and underage drinking. Sigma Chi faces some of the toughest sanctions ever at the school. KATV News Watch 7's Ryan Luby spent the evening on campus, joins us live, Ryan. Yeah, Rob, the university put Sigma Chi on a four year suspension that ends in May of 2013. UNL students we spoke with say the fraternity's suspension should send a big message to the entire campus that hazing and underage drinking will not be tolerated. Uh, my name is Trevor Robertson. I am a member of the Alpha Phi Delta Colony here at Fitchburg State. This is my second semester as a brother. My name is Muriel and I'm the current president of Sigma Sigma Sigma. I joined in April of 2017. My name is Anthony Pereira. I'm a sophomore at Fitchburg State University and I'm a part of the Sigma Pi fraternity. So I think with the media there's definitely a lot of negative viewpoints towards us um, because of past movies and depictions of fraternity and sorority life, like drinking and all partying and all that stuff. But you know, there are things that happen in Greek life. Not I haven't seen anything here, but I know you know I see things in the news at other schools. But I don't think Fitchburg has anything that corresponds to any of that bad Greek life stuff. I think that they pick really unlikely stories um, that only happen like one in a million years and I think there's a more good things than bad things that happen. So two of our main philanthropies in uh, Sigma Pi is the Amazing Day Foundation. What that is is we try to help prevent uh, college suicide and then we also have the Donate for Life which is we try to get people to become organ donors and we send out a message where uh, we try to teach people what being an organ donor really is. So for Sigma, the philanthropies is the Tri Sigma Foundation, which is Robbie Page and March of Dimes. Um, Robbie Page is for children in hospitals, and March of Dimes is um, for premature babies. And then we also have a local philanthropy that's unique to Fitchburg State, and that's the Breast Cancer Awareness. Personally, I think when I joined Greek Life, it helped me lose pressure from other work from school. Nothing that we do puts pressure on me. In my fraternity, a lot of us are graduating, so there's a little bit of pressure to find, you know, some, some younger guys, some freshmen and stuff to get involved before a lot of the seniors graduate, but I think it can help take away some of the pressures of school, and it can be a nice place to kind of vent out your other pressures and anxieties. I think it's good pressure, like it can push people to be a better student, to be a better member of society. As a fraternity, we want to better ourselves and our brothers. So if someone isn't doing like what they should be doing in the fraternity, you know, we want to like push them to be the best. When I was pledging for Alpha Phi Delta, we had a past national president who was running the pledge period. And I remember that he told us like, by the end of this period, you guys are going to be inseparable. You're going to be brothers. And we were all like, yeah, okay, Rick. Like, because if we looked around the room, there were people that you would never talk to. Um, and by the end of it, they really do become like your brothers and your family. You get to meet new people and meet new friends, not just within your sorority, but also um, in Greek life in general. You also get to know the people who work for the school really well. You get to learn planning skills, communication skills, and time management. When you're joining a fraternity or a sorority, you're getting a brotherhood or a sisterhood out of it. You meet these people, and it's crazy because you become like brothers or sisters within a matter of months, and you learn everything about them, and you really learn like what it is to be there for someone and have that fellowship amongst each other and brotherhood and stuff. I think sometimes people might have personal issues, but even if you weren't in Greek life, that can still happen. And I also think there's healthy competition among everybody, especially when it comes to recruitment. You get a group of friends that you probably wouldn't have met if you didn't join. You have a support system. You have people who are always going to be there to go on a hike with or go to the movies or whatever, like you can shoot a message to your your group and like there's always going to be someone there who's like not doing anything, is ready to hang. Um, You're gaining a brotherhood. Um, helps you to keep involved on campus. Uh, meet a ton of people. And not even like the people that you meet isn't even like 
school-wise, but these people could possibly benefit you in life in general too. Like I can't count the amount of alumni who I've met who are already like helping me like afterwards for after school, looking for a job and stuff. So that's another positive. Greek life isn't made for everybody, but I feel like when you're actually in it and you want to be there, there's no negatives. I can only really think of one. So like maybe if you're the type of person that doesn't like to meet new people or just like wants to stay in their room a lot, keep to themselves, maybe joining Greek life isn't the best decision for you. But like, other than that, I can't really think of any other negatives at the top of my head. So my advice is, if you look at the media, um, just think of like how the media loves to twist and turn things. They do it for pretty much almost everything. They don't care about what's true or what's not true, really. They just want to make a good story out of it because they know that's what the people will watch. That's what's going to get them views. So like most of the stuff you may see on us is really like twisted and turned a lot. And most of the time it's really not the true complete story of what goes on. Um, just remember that just because you're seeing something that might happen in Greek life doesn't mean that that event or that situation embodies what Greek life is all about. Because the things that we do and the things that we strive to be really go against what a lot of people think Greek life is all about. So just take whatever you see with a grain of salt. Don't look at, you know, look at the bigger picture.